Welcome back, everyone. Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services and another USDA Loan Pro video quick tip. However, before we get started, please take advantage of our free second opinion service, which is designed to help realtors and buyers get access to an expert second opinion and is great for both new pre-qualifications and for those loans that are already in progress with another lender. As a starting point, the Florida Homestead Exemption can help homeowners save money on property taxes by reducing the taxable value of the property. The Florida Homestead Property Tax Exemption provides that each person who holds legal title to real estate as of January 1st and maintains the property as their primary residence, not as a second home or investment property, may receive up to a $50,000 homestead exemption, which is further explained by the Highlands County Property Appraiser as follows. Every person who has a legal or equitable title to real estate as of January 1 and maintains it as their permanent residence or as the residence of another legally or naturally dependent upon the owner may be entitled to up to $50,000 homestead exemption. The first $25,000 applies to all property taxes, including school district taxes. The additional exemption up to $25,000 applies to the assessed value between $50,000 and $75,000 and only to non-school taxes. In addition, assessed value increases on your homestead property will not exceed the lower of 3% per year or average consumer price index, exclusive of any additions or renovations to the homestead. Now, while we are using the Highlands County Property Appraiser as an example for today, if you are in another county, please make sure to contact your local property appraiser to ask any questions and to confirm all deadlines. So, when is the Florida Homestead Exemption filing deadline? Provided you are eligible, a homestead exemption filing deadline is March 1st of the year for which the exemption will apply. If March 1st lands on a weekday or holiday, or for any late filing questions, please contact your local property appraiser for any filing date confirmations. What type of questions should you be prepared to answer? Whose name or names were on the title on January 1? What is your social security number and your spouse's social security number? Were you or your dependent living in the dwelling on January 1? Do you claim residency in another county or state? While these question examples were provided by the Florida Department of Revenue, the property appraiser may ask additional questions or ones that are similar in nature. Also, if you have moved from a previous Florida homestead, you may be eligible to port your entire homestead or a portion of it through the Save Our Homes portability transfer. As mentioned before, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out and use your local county property appraiser as a resource. As an approved USDA lender, we are known for our specific experience and expertise on this unique program from qualification to closing. Just call or email if you need help with a pre-qualification, want to discuss a new scenario, or would just like to take advantage of our free second opinion service, which is great for those existing transactions. As always, I want everyone to make it a great day and look forward to seeing you right here for the next Tip of the Week.